Hello bookworms! Today I'm here with my December book haul. Last month I had my giant Black Friday book haul, which I'll link down below, but I figured that since I bought a lot of books last month I really wouldn't buy too many books this month, but I was completely wrong. Barnes & Noble ended up having like a fantastic sale, so I ordered so many books during that. They also kept sending me like a 30% off coupon just about every single day and I always feel guilty not using those so I was just compelled and then I kind of just got in the habit of buying and buying and I couldn't stop and um, now I have an enormous pile next to me so here's another really big book haul. The first book that I got is Mosquito Land by David Arnold. This is a YA contemporary book and it is a road trip book where the characters um, travel around the United States and I've heard really good things about it from a lot of the book bloggers that I follow so I've been really wanting to read this one and it was just such a good price with all the Barnes & Noble sale that I could not resist so this is the first book that I picked up. The next books that I got are the Young Elites and The Rose Society. Both of these are by Marie Lu and they are the first and second books in the Young Elites trilogy. These books I also got on that Barnes & Noble sale. These books follow a character that was inspired by Darth Vader so it's more of like a villain type character which sounds really interesting because most books usually tell you the hero's story so I am really excited to read from that different perspective and obviously hearing that it's Darth Vader is something that definitely piqued my interest. The next two books that I picked up are Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch and the Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. Both of these books are books two and three of the Gentleman Bastard series. I am just so determined to read The Lies of Locke Lamora this year and I know that I'm gonna love it so I figured that I would order the next two from Book Depository because they take a little while to get here and I wanted them to be readily available for when I wanted to read them. The next book that I picked up is The Dreamer's Pool by Juliet Marillier. I don't know really anything about this book except that I'm obsessed with the cover. It's like honestly one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen. I just love it so much. Like it looks so much like a fairy tale. Um, but I've been hearing such great things about this author. She's like, she's a fantasy author and I love fantasy. So I just like became obsessed with the idea of reading one of her books. And I thought that this cover was the prettiest and I read pretty good reviews of it. So this is the first one that I'm going to be checking out. The next book that I picked up is Madly by Amy Alward and this is a YA book where the main character makes a love potion to get this prince to fall in love with her but she accidentally drinks it and then ends up falling in love with herself and then the entire kingdom has to try to find a cure for her and I believe that it's like televised and it just sounds like really really funny and really interesting. The next book that I picked up is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray and this is a sci-fi book and it's about a girl, I believe her name is Marguerite, and her parents are physicists and one of her parents um, invents this creation called the Firebird and it allows her to like travel between dimensions and I know that her father gets murdered and then she's probably going to be traveling to try to solve like why that happened. It just sounds really really good and again I just love the cover so much. The second cover also is like beautiful but I'm waiting to pick that one up until I read this book. The next book that I have is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This is another book that I don't know too much about. All I know is that everyone in the world who has read it just raves about it constantly and I loved Jandy Nelson's other book The Sky is Everywhere so I know that I really love her writing and I'm definitely going to love this which is why I have tried to avoid reading anything about the summary because I just want to be surprised and just go into it and just love it. The next three books that I picked up are actually books that I already own but I upgraded to hardcovers during the Barnes and Noble sale and those are The Selection by Kira Cass, The Elite by Kira Cass, and The One by Kira Cass. I just really enjoyed this series so much more than I was ever expecting to and I also really want to get the book that has all of the short stories and novellas in it and that is a hardcover so I figured why not there's this great sale going on I'll just grab these and then I can grab the other one and they'll all match and I will be a happy book lover. Next up um, I have probably one of my most favorite things actually no I take that back I have my absolute most favorite thing that I'm going to show you in this book haul and it is 
a new set of Harry Potter books because obviously I need every Harry Potter book ever, especially when they're as pretty as these ones. These are called the Signature Editions. I got this hardcover box set off of Book Depository. I think it was like $136, but it's totally worth it. And I'll show you the individual covers right now. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This was a big month for me for buying books that are in like collectible editions, so that's also why there are just an overwhelming number of books in this haul. The next set of collectible editions that I have to show you are the Penguin's Christmas Classics editions, which I actually discovered through Sam of Novels and Nonsense. I just think that they're adorable and they're like the perfect things to decorate um, your apartment or house or whatever you have with during the Christmas season, like just to leave on the coffee table or obviously to like drink some hot chocolate and read them. So I'm going to show you which ones I picked up. I got, I think I have five out of six of the ones that they've released. So my collection is just about complete. First, I have The Night Before Christmas by Nikolai Gogol, A Merry Christmas and Other Stories by Louisa May Alcott, The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman, a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus by Frank L. Baum. The next book that I picked up is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I read Passenger this past month and I just completely fell in love with it, so I know that I need to read everything by Alexandra Bracken, so I immediately picked this up because her writing is just phenomenal. I know that this is a dystopian novel, but I, or trilogy rather, but I really don't know too much else about it, so I'm looking forward to reading this. Next, I have another Alexandra Bracken novel, and that is Star Wars, A New Hope, The Princess, the Scoundrel, and the Farm Boy. And this is a YA retelling of the first Star Wars movie, and it's told from Princess Leia's perspective, so that sounds really exciting. And also, this book is just really pretty because you see this here. If you take the cover off, it's also this, and it just feels really soft and nice. So I'm excited about this. And there are two more books that also are YA retellings of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I haven't gotten those yet, but I'm going to see how I feel about this one and then I may get those as well. Next, I have a book that has one of my favorite covers of 2015, and that is Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This is the third book in the Starbound trilogy. It is a companion series, so it doesn't follow the first, the main characters from the first book. I still have to read the second book before I can read this one, but I'm assuming this will wrap up everyone's stories, and it's just so beautiful. Next up, I have Ice Like Fire by Sarah Roche. This is the second book in the Snow Like Ashes series. Haven't read the first one yet, but I picked this up during the Barnes & Noble sale, so that's what I have to say about this one. Next, I have Maybe in Another Life by Taylor... Jenkins Reid. Um, I believe this is actually an adult novel, but it follows a girl who gets to kind of see what would have happened if she made different choices in her life. So it sounds like there will be a lot of alternate type realities for her that she's going to be able to experience and kind of see like how her life is now compared to maybe how it could have been. So it just sounds really good. It's gotten really good reviews from my favorite book bloggers. So I was inspired to pick this up. Next, I have Brooklyn Girls by Dem Gemma Burgess, and this is a book about, I believe it's three girls who are living in Brooklyn, and it's more of a new adult novel, and as I've said before, I just really like novels set in New York City because I've lived in New York my whole life, um, so it's interesting to see the city from someone else's perspective. I picked up the second book from Book Outlet on Black Friday, so I can't read that one until I read this one. Next, I have two books that I got from Book Outlet. And the first one is Hello, I Love You by Katie M. Stout. And this is a book about a girl who goes to boarding school in Korea and then her roommate's brother ends up becoming like a famous K-pop star and I believe they fall in love and it just sounds like fan fiction almost and I think that I'll really love it. Next, I have You by Carolyn Kepnes. I have heard a lot about this on booktube. I'm a little bit afraid to read it. Like, it sounds really interesting, but it also sounds super scary because it's about this guy who meets a girl on Facebook and becomes obsessed with her and starts stalking her. And it just is, like, such a real concern that many people who put themselves out there online have. So while I, like, really want to read it because it sounds like it'll be a really quick-paced read, I'm also a little bit terrified. <laughs> 
The next set of books that I have are also collectibles, and I also saw them on Sam from Novels and Nonsense's channel. I believe Lindsay from Lindsay Ray actually gave her two of them for Christmas, and she showed them, and I was like, what? I'm going to Amazon right now because I need these in my life. So the first one that I obviously had to pick up is Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I can never resist an attractive version of Peter Pan. It's one of my favorite books of all time, so I'm really excited to have this one. And then also from that same Words Classics editions, I got The Odyssey by Homer. The Romantic Poets. This one um, actually has like a bunch of different authors poems in it and I mostly got this one just because the cover is so pretty. It's purple and all of these flowers are sparkly and pink and it actually tells you the poet's names in the stem of the flower. So it has Coleridge, Lord Byron, Keats, Blake, Wordsworth, and Shelley. Next I have Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Persuasion by Jane Austen, Emma by Jane Austen, and Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. The next book that I have is the Beauty and the Beast pop-up book by Robert Sabuda. I actually showed this off a little bit in my last video that I posted, which is my TBR takedown video. I also had it in my Christmas wishlist video and I just really love it because it's super beautiful and it's actually a lot larger than I was expecting, but alas, here it is. And then the final thing that I have to show you in this book haul is going to seem silly after how many books I have showed you in the past couple of months, but I actually finally splurged and I got a Kindle, which is just like hilarious because obviously I read a lot of physical books. I have a billion physical books probably if I'm estimating correctly. Obviously I love reading books, but I'm also a very big book collector, so I like having like lots of complete sets of series and everything, but I figured that having a Kindle would be great because for books like Queen of Shadows, which I'm planning on reading next year, like that's a very large book. It's not something that I will necessarily feel like lugging around with me, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to find like some kind of Kindle sale at some point and I'll just be able to have it on here and read it. And it's also really good because I have started getting some ARCs from NetGalley but I really have no way to read them digitally so this will be a quick way to to do that and be able to read it on the train and it'll just make my life easier overall and I just got it for a really good deal on Amazon during Black Friday so I figured now is the time. I can't believe that I actually got one though because I never thought that I would. Like I was having, I feel like an existential crisis or something when I actually placed the order because I was like, oh my god, who am I? Who owns a Kindle? I don't own a Kindle. I was always completely against them, but I'm still gonna buy physical books. I'm still good, obviously. I'm still gonna read physical books. I just figured that this will make my life easier in certain aspects. So I've caved. So that's it. That's all that I have to show you in this book haul. It was pretty large. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you had a very Merry Christmas, a very Happy New Year, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!